When the number of tourists in Palau climbed over uh, 150,000, over 100,000 of them were coming from China. And that was a great boost to the economy. I got people excited. But it was kind of like a teaser. You know, um, next thing you know, we were banned and uh, tourism dropped. And, um, you know, I, I said, if you're, if you're in a relationship, you know, I, I use this example, you don't beat your wife to make them love you. That's not what you do. You, you <laughs> that's not the, or, or, anyway, before they marry you, you're still courting them because you're not married yet, right? So you should, you know, continue to build a relationship based on trust and really mutual uh, benefits to both countries and not uh, be forced to do things because uh, there's a political game that we're trying to play. Uh, we we uh, value the partnership, we value the friendship. We, 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 we liked having the tourists from China and we, you know, uh, there's, um, as far as trade, there's lots of trade that goes on between both countries, but it doesn't have to, we don't have to harass each other to try to push people in certain directions. I don't think that's the way we should be operating. It should be based on mutual trust and, 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 and values. So um, I, I've been told that the opportunities, the sky's the limit, but you know, we have to base our relationships on trust and, 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 and what's happened in the past. And I think that's really where our commitment has been. Uh, we have a strong partner and friend that has been with us from the beginning uh, of our small republic. And we want to continue to strengthen that relationship. And nobody should tell us otherwise. I think that's uh, the message that, uh, you know, I'd like to share, and, and we welcome everybody to be our friend, to partner with and develop, because as a small nation, we can easily be uh, infiltrated, and we depend on our partners to protect us and, and give us security. So I appreciate him joining us, and just part of demonstrating that friendship and commitment that we have um, partnered in, in, in uh, protecting and securing and fighting for freedom and democracy in our region. First of all, we're a very small country, and we believe that it's important to, be f to have friends and to be friends with everyone. And uh, we don't have any enemies. We love everybody. Uh, but, of course, uh, we also believe that nobody should tell us we cannot be somebody else's friend. And I think... Uh, a true friend is with you no matter what. And I think um, Taiwan and the Republic of China has always demonstrated the value of our partnership and our friendship. And they have been with us through thick and thin. And uh, this t pandemic is a demonstration of that, of how partners get together and solve problems. And um, we just, you know, uh, want to continue to strengthen that relationship and strengthen relationships with all our partners because it's about finding solutions to global problems that we all face, whether it's the pandemic or climate change. And it's important that together, those of us that share the same values build on, each, uh, build on that and, and work together to solve these major problems that we face. 大纪元时报遍布全球，不受财团政党影响，真实感言。不管是想了解国际局势、两岸议题，或者想要寓教于乐、丰富人生，您需要的都在大纪元时报。顶报专线零八零零五六六六八八。